whom do you hold responsible for everything that happened? Thanks. That is a question that I cannot answer in uh, a couple of comments, but I'll start with me. There were some issues, of course, that happened with Starliner. There were some issues, of course, that happened that prevented us from returning on Starliner. And I'll start with me. There were questions that I, as a commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to. And maybe you could call that hindsight, but I'll start and point the finger and I'll blame me. I could ask some questions, and the answers to those questions could have turned the tide. Um, so blame, that's a term, I don't like that term, but certainly there's responsibility throughout uh, all the programs, uh, and certainly you can, you can start with me. Um, responsibility with Boeing, yes. Responsibility with NASA, yes. All the way up and down the chain, we all are responsible. We all own this, and we are, in this business, trust, you cannot do this business without trust. You have to have ultimate trust. And for someone to step forward in, the, in these different organizations and say, hey, I'm culpable for a part of that issue, uh, that goes a long way to maintaining trust. So we're not going to look back and say this happened or that happened and that person or that issue or that entity is to blame. We're going to look forward and say, what are we going to use our lessons learned from this whole process and make sure that we are successful in the future? This is a tough business. The analogy about it, it's, a, it's always a curvy road. It's never straight in this business. And minimizing those curves, curves and effectual, uh, being systems and processes in effect to, to prevent some of these curves is what we have to do as we leave low Earth orbit and go beyond to the moon and beyond that. So we're going to look forward. And that's, uh, that's the focus.